Okay, we have the boot menu and you go down, click on this and it'll take a few seconds. And it's gonna give you a uh, window 11 you go there and takes a few seconds you pick a language English United States go next click on install It's a pretty good computer, um, and um, it's a fifth gen, so it works pretty good. You click accept, go next, and because you're installing fresh, so if you have old stuff, you just go in there and delete all the old stuff in it because you want to install fresh. So one by one, you click on the portion and make sure you don't have anything important in it because it gets delayed once, you can't get it back. So you delete all the portions and, and there it is. Now you press next. It's going to take about 20 minutes, I think, less than 20 minutes, and it will um, it will restart itself. So I'm going to pause it. I'm not going to make you wait on this. I'm going to pause it, and I'll be right back. Okay, it's uh, downloaded, so it's, it's, starting, it's restarting itself. So it's going to take a few more minutes. Um, and you're going to take your USB out. Because it's already downloaded it. It's gonna show you the logo of the uh, window. So. Because it's a SSD dri uh, hard drive, it's faster than the mechanical hard drive. So I have changed a lot of computers uh, from uh, mechanical hard drive to SSD and that works pretty fast. So if you have this kind of computer, um, switch it over because uh, technology is getting improved day by day. So just one more second. It's going to take four, a few more minutes. I'm going to pause it again and the screen will come up uh, the first screen will come up to um, connect the Wi-Fi so I'm gonna pause it and I'll be right back okay we're back on so this window 11 um, logo just came up now it's gonna ask me the Wi-Fi password I think so a few more seconds Yep, Windows Wi-Fi. So it's the United Computer. I'm gonna put in the password. Press next. Then press next. It's going to take a few more seconds. All 
Alright, it's still going. I'm gonna pause it. Um, it's gonna ask me a few more questions, I think, and then I press yes, yes, yes. Uh, let's wait on, let me show you how to do it. It's very simple though, but... Thank you for your patient. And come on, come on, come on. I think I should pause it. So I'm going to pause it right back. Okay, it started itself now and it's doing a few updates. And it's welcoming us to the new windows. And this should take a few more seconds. All right. Nice blue screen for window 11 and um, getting things ready for us and almost there. Things might take a few minutes. You do not turn the power off of this PC. Okay. So when this is done, this is last few steps uh, you gotta do it um, to get this window updated to the par. Um, so I'm gonna just show you that and then we'll be done. So it takes a few more minutes. You can forward it or you can wait. I'm not going to pause it now. So, almost there. So this computer has uh, also lights on the keyboard too. All right, there it is. Okay. So what you do is on the search bar, you type in update. And you go up to the updates right here on the top. Click on updates. You can click on check updates. Just gonna check the updates on this. Almost done. So when you do that, it's gonna check all the drivers that needs for this computer. And there they are. Then you scroll down and you see advanced option. You click on that and scroll down. You click on optical optional updates. So optional updates are 15, so you, <coughs> excuse me, so you click on all these updates. Scroll down, I can go back up, just click all these. Yes, I did so and then click on download and install and this will take approximately 20 minutes but you can do whatever you want to do afterward. Uh, please um, like my video and subscribe and we'll keep posting new tech uh, videos. Thank you so much. Bye bye.